everyone, welcome to another chill drawing with me. For this video, I'm just going to sketch some ideas for the Name Tober illustrations. Here are some of the sketches I've done for some of the past ones. You can tell that most of my drawings are very rough, sketchy. I also put an X on it to try to see where the composition or like I wanted to see where she fits on the paper. The bloody nose theme and then that was the idea sometime I could like figure out what I want to draw like immediately like this moon drawing I already had it in my mind this huge moon but something like bloody nose I was kind of struggling And you can let me find the page. Yeah, so you can really tell I was struggling for the crying lamb one. And this is the one I chose. It looks a bit different from the final one I mean, I have it right here This is the sketch version I don't erase my pencil lines when I paint over it So I still haven't figured out what I want to draw in this frame But yeah, I just wanted to Sketch with you guys Because sometimes looking at rough sketches, the process is really relaxing, maybe? <laughs> so the next one I'm doing is Behave Doll. I mostly find my references through Pinterest. I'm also listening to the Pocket Mirror soundtrack because it really helped me think <laughs> I honestly don't have any idea what to draw so I'm just gonna doodle some dolls maybe she has like a book on her head I don't know what sometimes people ask me like, what do you mean by unsharpened blade, for example? But I also don't know. Like, it depends on you and how, how you imagine it. I have no idea either when I'm sketching it. And some, sometimes it's just happy accidents or... Something pops up in my mind and I'm like, oh, that, that's really a cool idea, so. Maybe a behaved doll could mean 
behaving for your parents so it's like a cat <laughs> I just saw a reference of a man with a puppet and got this idea just but in this version, it's a doll. So maybe for this girl, she feels a bit terrified. So that's why this cat looks a bit scary. Also, I don't really care how sketchy it looks because it's not the final and I'm just trying to figure out some ideas. I actually kind of like this idea. <laughs> it's just this creepy cat person maybe there's like a vase of flowers and then like a painting maybe curtain i don't know but i'm just gonna put it i'm gonna move on to rocking horse i might need to practice drawing horses first <laughs> that's what i did for the lamb drawing because the more angle I know, it's easier to come up with ideas. Someone asked me what games I'm inspired by. I already mentioned it in the... What was it? <laughs> Adelaide's book flip through. Yeah, someone asked me on Instagram when I posted the question thing. Right now it's mostly um, Frambo and Little Nightmares. I don't play games, I actually just watch playthroughs because I like watching um, YouTubers play while I draw because I don't have to stare for too long and I get scared easily <laughs> anyways. So I don't think I'll be able to play the game without freaking out and quitting. That looks like a bad horse. I recently watched a video. Let me see. Yeah, it's called How Coraline Borrows Ancient Form of Storytelling. And that was a really educational video for me. I wrote some notes here. You can see. Yeah, it kind of made me think about what kind of message I'm trying to send out to my for my um, artwork because I like detailed stuff and I like children dreams kind of theme. Alice in Wonderland. And a bit of creepy, but just the right amount of creepy. And the message I'm trying to send is... Well, based on that, it's like there's a bit of creepiness on everyday objects. So I guess that's why a lot of people f kind of feel scared of my illustration. Because it's something that you see normally, but it's kind of warped into a nightmare and the message kind of gives like um well in Coraline it's the uh like don't be greedy <laughs> because Coraline is trapped in this perfect world but it, and everything is is what she wanted but it turned out to be bad what is this horse? <laughs> Yeah, basically, don't be greedy <laughs> and appreciate, yeah, appreciate small things in life. So, nature and beauty and small things you have and to not try to want something too much, maybe. I'm really bad at explaining and finding the words. <laughs> it's also because I'm kind of drawing, but yeah. Maybe I could just 
natural like overall shape instead of actually drawing it for now because I want to know what, what the girl is doing Right now, I'm trying to think how, what kind of background or what I could add in the background to make it more interesting. Maybe a weird creature could be holding the rope or something. I might if I choose this idea, I might have to put this animal closer, like here, because of because I draw it vertically. I was also thinking of putting a chandelier, but I don't know if it will look nice, so I'm just gonna doodle the idea for now. It might be too like straight up and down. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Might be cool if her hair is like flying up instead. What if she's kind of floating a little? It looks like a donkey. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I do it better then this might be a cool piece. Maybe there's candles floating around. Like this will be perfect for the size of my paper. I'm going to move on to the next theme which is an elegant Victorian frame. I'm drawing a teddy bear because it just appeared on my Pinterest timeline so yep. Also, when I draw frames, I don't try to make it perfect because I know I won't make it perfect. And like the unperfectness kind of looks nice to me. I feel very productive right now for coming up a lot of ideas. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. I'm going to draw white eye puppet, right? Yeah, for the next one. Recently, I've been, there's just a random thought. Uh, I was doubting myself like I, I feel like I'm not a Hufflepuff in like <laughs> Hogwarts housing. I was like maybe I'm more of a Ravenclaw and I always thought I wasn't in Ravenclaw because you know the stereotype like oh you have to be smart and I was thinking oh like I wouldn't be able to solve the riddles to go into the dorms if I ever go to if I'm ever a Ravenclaw but then I looked more into the house and they said it's more about experience on and like wisdom 
wanting to learn more and being curious about something you don't know and being special or smart on something you're good at and that made me feel more welcomed into the house <laughs> because I always surrounded myself with people I felt that, that could help me study better and I like learning new things like I don't know I like analysis and films and color just random stuff also I'm uh, the MBTI I'm INFJ and they say that Ravenclaws are most oh I mean INFJs are most likely Ravenclaw and secondary house is Hufflepuff so it kind of makes sense I'm I I get interested in like random stuff <laughs> just Harry Potter <laughs> Also, I'm putting my sketchbook on a drawing stand <laughs> because my neck gets painful when I lean into my sketchbook. I like to put it on like a angle so I could just sit straighter. <laughs> Have you seen a long armed bunny before? Kind of don't hate the idea. <laughs> I also feel inspired by old photo uh, photos, creepy like photos, and puppets, no not puppets, sculptures, just like weird sculptures. And just kind of pick the things that I like about it and think of it in a different way and it turns out Creepy, but still cute. <laughs> Next drawing is Please Wake Up. This just popped up in my mind. So I'm just gonna see what it looks like. I'm just imagining a girl being tied up upside down and she's kind of sleeping but instead of upside down it's like she's floating up so mm, maybe I can make the candles like upside down or something like that so it kind of tells the viewer that she's actually not the right side up? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's a window. I have no idea where this idea came from, but... <laughs> I was... I, my thought process was, what if she was tied up but she's flying up? <laughs> Weird things happen in dreams, so... Maybe there's a moon? Maybe far away, there's like a chandelier hanging. 
to emphasize more that it's upside down. I don't know why I'm drawing upside down, but I'm too lazy to flip my <laughs> sketchbook <laughs> birds. Maybe, I don't know. Ribbons? Maybe it's like kind of wrapping her in a way. Maybe that's too much, I don't know. More frames. I'll probably change a bit again. The sketch and like the final always look a bit different, so I try not to worry too much on how perfect it looks, so just drawing ideas and okay. The last one is sleep tight little night princess, so another sleeping one. Really not sure about this one. The more confused I am, the more like rough it gets. <laughs> Maybe the bed is hanging from the tree? More flying hair <laughs> Because she's a night princess? She seems magical I actually like this idea so I might go with this one I'm probably gonna end the video now if you have any questions, let me know and what you might want to see from me. Yeah, thank you for watching. I had fun drawing all of these. And I hope that kind of inspired you too and you guys drew with me. So see you in the next video. Bye!